close to a thousand yards. Just what are kind of your thoughts on that? Um, it's exciting. Uh, I think it's a, a big privilege to, to, to be a back in this league and you know accomplish a, a goal like that. I've had a lot of help from my guys on the perimeter. Definitely the guys up front. Uh, it's something I feel that we all deserve. It's something that we all looking forward to. It's on the front of our minds. We we hungry for it and we can't wait. Is it something you've set the goal for before the season? Is it something that you've set the target for yourself? Definitely, definitely. Definitely be a thousand yard back in this league speaks volumes. It says a lot about the guys up front and the guys on the perimeter that you know block out there for you and it just says a lot about the coaches letting you touch the ball at any time to accomplish something. Rajon, some of the offensive linemen talked about noticing a difference in you all the way back in camp. Some others, Zach Gordon called me. It was the Austin Key game. He immediately noticed a difference. In was there a lot more moment for you? When did you notice a difference in how you were approaching it? Uh, I just I started to realize it in spring with the new staff, competition, starting to end back up, position being open. And, you know, going into my last year and knowing that we haven't had a back to rush for 1,000. And you know the regular season of 12 games since I think maybe Ontario Hardesty. So I mean that was a that was a big thing for me, something that drove me, that fueled me. And you know I definitely want to just leave a mark here. Could the Rajon of the previous three years have handled the way that the Gillespie has needled you and tried to challenge you? I think so, but it definitely would have been more bumps in the road, yeah. a little more uh, head button. But over the time here, man, I've matured. I've, I've understand and, and learned more about the game. And uh, I don't know if I would change anything about it. What do you think is the biggest change about you personally now than when you were a, senior, or a freshman? Probably the way I look at the game, how serious I take it, uh, how much I dissect film and kind of just outside of playing ball, just looking at how other guys play the game and, and, and really taking notice in the little details and watching the game. But. Uh, I've grown to definitely respect the game and love it way more. Rajon, I know that you guys wanted to have a bowl, but as, as, as a senior, how important is it that you leave some sort of positive foundation for, for the young guys going into the offseason? I feel it's big, man. I've, I've, me and a lot of the seniors, man, have uh, formed a great bond with some of the freshmen. Like the one behind you running now, spinning the ball, Ferguson. I mean, <laughs> you want to leave those guys with something to remember, something to be proud of. You want to send those guys on right. Man. You want the guys to be excited to, to keep up with you and see you when you come back. You want them to call you a little bit. You want to be able to call them and they pick up when you want to check on them. So I think that's big. You say Gillespie was joking that you're going to be coaching Little League ball in a year. What do you think you'll be in a year from now? Uh, hopefully still playing ball. Hopefully still playing ball. But, you know, only God knows where I'm headed. All season, Butch has really been challenging your class and seniors. You know, what has your legacy been as the season wraps up? What do you think your class's legacy is? I think our legacy has been strong, uh, persevered through a lot, uh, not easily broken. But I, I definitely feel that, man. We're, we're, we're a strong team that's been through a lot. And uh, we're going to finish 1 0, you know, set our teams 118 and on to, to hopefully build something great. You noticed a bit more of a, I guess, a hangover after Saturday. They just tell it took a little longer for people to get over that one, you know, knowing it took away the whole game possibility and all that. Definitely. I think we lingered a little bit today in meetings. But once we got back on the field, watched film, moved on, we, we know what's at stake, and we had to kind of move from it.